सी आई ई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंस ऑडियो बुक कंटेम्प्रेरी इंडिया टेक्स्ट बुक इन जोग्राफी फॉर क्लास नाइन अबाउट द बुक दिस बुक हैज सिक्सटी सिक्स पेजेस कंटेनिंग सिक्स चैप्टर्स अलॉन्ग विद द क्लासरी इट इज पेज वन इंडिया साइज एंड लोकेशन India is one of the ancient civilizations in the world. It has achieved multifaceted socio-economic progress during the last 5 decades. It has moved forward displaying remarkable progress in the field of agriculture, industry, technology and overall economic development. India has also contributed significantly to the making of world history. location India is a vast country lying entirely in the northern hemisphere the mainland extends between latitudes 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degrees 6 minutes north and longitudes 68 degree 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east Figure 1.1 shows a map of the world and it shows all the seven continents of the world. It also shows the India's strategic position on the world map. The Tropic of Cancer that is 23 degree 30 minutes north divides the country into almost two equal parts. to the southeast and southwest of the mainland lie the andaman and nicobar islands and the lakshadweep islands in bay of bengal and arabian sea respectively find out the extent of these groups of islands from your atlas do you know the southernmost point of the indian union indra point got submerged under the sea water in 2004 during the tsunami size the landmass of india has an area of 3.28 million square kilometer india's total area accounts for about 2.4% of the total geographical area of the world page 2 from the figure 1.2 it is clear that india is the seventh largest country of the world Figure 1.2 is a bar graph which shows the six larger countries of the world. Seventh is India. Russia is the largest country with a total area of 17.07 million square kilometer. Canada is the second largest country with a total area of 9.97 million square kilometer and USA is the third largest country with the total area of 9.80 million square kilometer well india is the seventh largest country with the total land cover of 3.28 million square kilometer from the text india has a land boundary of about 15200 kilometer and the total length of the coastline in the mainland including andaman and nicobar and lakshadweep is 7516.6 km india is bounded by the yangfol mountains in the northwest north and northeast south of 22 degree north latitude it begins to taper and extends towards the indian ocean dividing it into two seas the arabian sea on the west and the bay of bengal on its east look at figure 1.3 and note that the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of the mainland is about 30 degree despite this fact the east west extent appears to be smaller than the north south extent figure 1.3 on page number 3 it shows the map of india 
also shows the longitudinal and latitudinal extent for the country. The southernmost latitude for the Indian mainland is 8 degree and 4 minutes, while the northernmost latitude is 37 degree 6 minutes. Likewise, the westernmost longitude is 68 degree 7 minutes and the easternmost longitude is 97 degree 25 minutes. The distance between the northern and the southern point of India is 3,214 km where the distance between east and west extent of our country is just 2,933 km. From the text From Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh, there is a time lag of 2 hours. Hence, time along the standard meridian of India, that is, 82 degree 30 minutes east, passing through Mirzapur, that is in Uttar Pradesh, is taken as the standard time for the whole country. The latitudinal extent influences the duration of the day and night as one moves from south to north. From the box, find out why 82 degree 30 minutes east has been selected as the standard meridian of India and also find out why is the difference between the durations of day and night hardly felt at Kanyakumari but not so in Kashmir. India and the world. The Indian landmass has a central location between the East and the West Asia. India is a southward extension of the Asian continent. The Trans-Indian Ocean routes which connect the countries of Europe in the West and the countries of East Asia provide a strategic central location to India. Note that the Deccan Peninsula protrudes into the Indian Ocean, thus helping India to establish close contact with West Asia, Africa and Europe from the western coast and with Southeast and East Asia from the eastern coast. No other country has a long coastline on the Indian Ocean as India has, and indeed, it is India's eminent position in the Indian Ocean, which justifies the naming of an ocean after it. Page 3 From the box, do you know? Since the opening of the Suez Canal in 1869, India's distance from Europe has been reduced by 7,000 kilometers. Page Four. India's contacts with the world have continued through the ages, but their relationships through the land routes are much older than her maritime contacts. The various passes across the mountains in the north have provided passages to the ancient travellers, while the oceans restricted such interaction for a long time. These routes have contributed in the exchange of ideas and commodities since ancient times. The ideas of Upanishads and the Ramayana, the stories of Panchatantra, the Indian numerals and the decimal system thus could reach many parts of the world. The spices, muslin and other merchandise were taken from India to different countries. On the other hand, the influence of Greek sculpture and the architectural styles of doom and minarets from West Asia can be seen in different parts of our country. There is a map given which shows the Southeast Asian countries. It also shows the air routes and the sea routes, the ports and the airports of India and its trade relations with many countries. India has many trade partners, countries from Africa, Europe, Southeast Asia, Japan and even Australia. India's Neighbours India occupies an important strategic position in South Asia. India has 29 states and 7 union territories, as shown in figure 1.5 on page number 5. On page 5, 
there is a map of India given, which shows the administrative divisions of the country, the international boundary and the state boundaries. The different states are located along with all the union territories. It also shows the neighboring countries of India like Pakistan, Nepal, China, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. From the box, find out first the number of union territories along the western and eastern coasts. Second, area-wise which is the smallest and which is the largest state. Third, the states which do not have an international border or lie on the coast. And fourth, classify the states into four groups, each having common frontiers with Pakistan, China, Myanmar and Bangladesh. From the text, India shares its land boundaries with Pakistan and Afghanistan in the northwest, China, part of Tibet, Nepal and Bhutan in the north and Myanmar and Bangladesh in the east. Our southern neighbours across the sea consist of the two island countries namely Sri Lanka and Maldives. Do you know? Before 1947, there were two types of states in India, the provinces and the princely states. Provinces were ruled directly by British officials who were appointed by the viceroy. Princely states were ruled by local hereditary rulers who acknowledged sovereignty in return for local autonomy. Page 5 Sri Lanka is separated from India by a narrow channel of sea formed by the Park Strait and the Gulf of Manar while Maldive Islands are situated to the south of Lakshadweep Islands. India has had strong geographical and historical links with her neighbours. Look at the physical map of Asia in your atlas and note how India stands apart from the rest of Asia. Page 6 Exercise Question 1 Choose the right answer from the four alternatives given below. 1 of 1 the Tropic of Cancer does not pass through A. Rajasthan B. Odisha C. Chhattisgarh and D. Tripura 2 of 1 The easternmost longitude of India is A. 97 degree 25 minutes east B. 68 degree 7 minutes east C. 77 degree 6 minutes east or D. 82 degree 32 minutes east. 3 of 1. Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and Sikkim have common frontiers with A. China, B. Bhutan, C. Nepal or D. Myanmar. 4 of 1. If you intend to visit Kavarati during your summer vacations, which one of the following union territories of India you will be going to? The choices are A. Puducherry, B. Lakshadweep, C. Andaman and Nicobar Islands or D. Diu and Daman. 5 of 1 My friend hails from a country which does not share land boundary with India. Identify the country. A. Is it Bhutan? B. Tajikistan, C. Bangladesh or D. Nepal? Question 2. Answer the following questions briefly. 1 of 2. Name the group of islands lying in the Arabian Sea. 2 of 2. Name the countries which are larger than India. 3 of 2. Which island group of India lies to its southeast? 4 of 2. Which island countries are our southern neighbours? 
Question 3. The sun rises two hours earlier in Arunachal Pradesh as compared to Gujarat in the west. But the watches show the same time. How does it happen? Question 4. The central location of India at the head of the Indian Ocean is considered of great significance. Why? Map skills. Question 1. Identify the following with the help of map reading. First, the island groups of India lying in the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. Second, the countries constituting Indian subcontinent. Third, the state through which the Tropic of Cancer passes. Fourth, the northernmost latitude in degrees. Fifth, the southernmost latitude of the Indian mainland in degrees. Sixth, the eastern and the westernmost longitude in degrees. Seventh, the place situated on the three seas. Eighth, the strait separating Sri Lanka from India. Ninth, the Union Territories of India. Project or activity. First, find out the longitudinal and latitudinal extent of your state. Second, collect information about the Silk Route also find out the new developments which are improving communication routes in the regions of high altitude. Contemporary India, Part 1, Chapter 1, India, Size and Location You were just listening to this chapter. It was read by Shiba Mal, recorded by Shanu Muksim, Production Assistance Vimlesh Chaudhary, produced by Ajit Horo. This was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi.